Hello everyone, my name is Jedi, and welcome to Jedi Geo Gaming. I'm going to make part two of the uh, key bindings and FPF philosophy that I came up with. I had a couple questions from some friends and some people, and I just wanted to cover some things. This video is going to be a little different than the last one. The last one I took a long time to edit, and so in this one I'm going to do it in one take. So I apologize in advance if I mess up or there's a couple things, but I feel it sounds a little bit more natural and it's a little bit more friendly. So thank you. Um, all right, so now that the game is out, we've been playing it for some while, and uh, I noticed, unfortunately, we can't do some of the things that I wanted. You can't do the same key bindings as through the game. You have to edit them. And then just the default settings are, are not very good. So I'm going to show you really quickly the settings that I have set up. Um, let's go to the settings here for my key bindings. So um, one of the things I want to talk about is is uh, you're gonna see some icons here that look similar, but there's differences, okay? The, the basic ones are standard, fire. Um, I'll explain what that reload is for me. It's on my mouse button, the melee. For my melee, I actually use scroll down. Um, I know a lot of people use it to swap weapons, but as I said, you should get comfortable with one, two, three, and four. If you've been playing uh, video games for a while, you're gonna notice that every first person shooter makes you switch your weapons between one, two, three, four, maybe even five if you have more. And you should get comfortable with that if you're gonna start to play on the PC. I would suggest to just get used to it now instead of just trying to bind it to a scroll up and scroll down. Nobody really uses that, it's not as effective. Um, the typical right click is zoom, that's standard. Um, the block I made that actually my middle mouse button, I think that says Titan. Um, although I think it's not needed because you could right click and I think it does the same thing. Um, my the, the jump is a space bar, same thing. Uh, the toggle sprint, I left mine to toggle and I have it shift. Normally I hold hold, but in this game you run a lot. I got tired of holding the button, toggle just seemed more make more sense. Now here's the big one. Uh, toggle crouch. Um, crouch, I actually it says P, but it's actually a, a, the back button on my mouse. It's a, essentially the back button. And I, I have it there because if you're going to play Destiny often, you're going to notice some of the pro players, they they slide a lot. And sliding is effective in PvP because it keeps you off the radar. It makes you a little bit harder to hit. And uh, just in general, I think it's just a, a good ability. It feels good and it's fun to use. So I would greatly advise you to do that. The class ability, I actually set mine to scroll wheel up on my mouse. Um, it's really easy to use. I'm going to go into a little detail about why that's more important. Um, that's what I have it set to. The air move, again, it's I have it the same thing as the block up here. If you notice, it's it's got the same icon. You, you can't do this in the game. Like if I select right now, it's going to go away. Um, and I'm going to show you how to edit that file in a little bit, just like I did in the last video. The interact for me, this is another huge one that I, I would greatly advise you to do. This is actually my forward mouse button. Um, or, or my forward button on the mouse, like when you're browsing on the web page, you press forward. I have that to my mouse. Grenade, it's an extra button on my mouse as well. I, I like to just spam it. I've been using this game and this button for a long time. That's O. Um, and then Q, Q is super. Now, one of the things I wanna cover is, so they're in, in the keyboard, and I'll cover these. Let, let me just uh, talk about Q and R, and I think these are the rest. The, the weapons ones don't matter. I think everything's the same. I think I changed my secondary to middle mouse button. It used to be E. It can be. doesn't matter. These are not that as important. I think these are all preferences. Uh, but let me show you what I meant. I'm going to minimize the game. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I'm going to talk about my keyboard. Okay, so here is my keyboard. Um, I actually have a Corsair K95. I can set, this is when I regular type and this is when I game. And so the reason I highlighted some of these buttons, these are the hot buttons that you should get used to and you should get really comfortable pressing in any game. I don't have shift enabled because I don't need it. My finger's always on it, but that's kind of included, but it's given. So AWSD, as I said, those buttons always need to be pressed. Your fingers always should be on there. And the quickest ones you can get, as you can see, is the Q and the E. They're the quickest fingers. Why? Because your, you know, your, your middle finger. I mean, I'm sorry, your ring finger and your index finger are already on there. They're just a little quick press up. It's, a, it's the easiest buttons you can press. R is just as quickly. And so, what I, the reason I'm mentioning this is you, you guys need to learn to map these to important buttons quickly. On top of the mouse, these are also priority buttons. I made mine Q as in super. 
Um, e actually, I'm still not debated which one I'm going to use. Uh, it might be a class ability. It might be something else. I haven't decided. Uh, not a class ability. I mean the, um, the warlock ability, the, the glide in the air. I don't have a warlock yet. Until I play with it, then I'll figure it out. Uh, a lot of people use R for reload. I think that's perfectly acceptable. I use my R to swap weapons between one and two. Um, you, you don't use four and five in this, but that's it. Okay, so here's this. Now, the other thing I want to discuss is... A lot of people ask me, how do I edit the files? Okay, so the way you edit the file is you, if you type this here. Um, let me show you a bigger picture of that so you can see that screen. Okay, that's the wrong one, I'm sorry. Okay, that's it. That's that's the zoom, That's let me zoom it in. This is the path that uh, you should put. This should take you to your profile under Bungie, Destiny, PC, and Preps. Um, I'm gonna put that in the description, so don't worry about getting that now. It's gonna take you to this location, right? Um, let me show you what that looks like. I have it here. All right. Actually, the game is holding on to it right now, so I'm gonna exit the game. Okay. So this file constantly gets changed by Bungie. It keeps altered and get it uh, changed all the time. If you right click, and, and you open it up. I'm not going to do it here because I'm going to show you another file that I modified. Here's what it looks like when you open it. You scroll down and you get to this point. Um, you go to the key binding sections and, and I highlighted the parts where you're basically going to modify. You see where it says mouse wheel down for melee. So that button, I, I highlighted orange. That's the scroll wheel. And then up here is the down here is the mouse wheel up unused. You edit these manually. You literally just type in the variables. Um, I use Notepad Plus. This is why it looks a little bit different than your regular Notepad file. I like it because as you can see, it colors it. It's a little bit easier to use. And so through this file, which Bungie uses itself to modify its keys, this is how you can actually have the same buttons to do the same thing. Or for in, in some situations, um, do things that wasn't programmed in the game, like the mouse wheel up and scroll down. That, you can't change it in the game. You could only change it through this file. And, and I highly just doing that instead of s selecting it to weapons. Um, as you can see for me, I have this uh, bracket, which is my mouse key. I use that for my interact key. And then the back button, um, which on most people is, is, is the P uh, for, for me, I use that for crouch because I'm always sliding that for me. And then the other reload that I use, if you have this mouse, this, 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 uh, bracket over here this is for reload and this the o is for grenades that's what i usually use on my mouse but the big ones i think that most people are not aware of is to to match the p to the crouch and also to do the interact with with the with the forward button if you only have two mouse buttons i would highly suggest this as i mentioned it allows you to easily crouch and slide without interfering your finger movements you can move a lot quicker if you have to and then interact, I think, is useful for revives and clutch moments. Um, and at the same time, to pick up ammo and, and still evade incoming fire. Um, I like to use it to reload just because in the firefight, sometimes I don't want to press the R button for a little bit and not be able to strafe right. But that's just the preference. OK, um, I think that's pretty much it in terms of the key bindings. The other thing that I want to just discuss is uh, let me open up the game again. Sorry about this. Uh, one of the things I also want to discuss is in the game, there's a couple settings that you can do to be a little bit more competitive. And these are the video settings that I think that most people should have. It'll help them see things clear and also just, just see a better uh, view of the battlefield. I'm sure you guys are familiar with some of these settings. Hold on, but I'm going to just cover them in case anyone has any questions. Okay. So here's my character. So game options. Um, in the video settings here, you're, you're gonna notice that I, I actually set this field of view to 95. You can go all the way to 105. I think it's all preference. I don't like it at, 80, at 105 because you have to understand there's always a drawback. Sure, I see more of the screen, but things look farther away. So sometimes when you're heading a shot, it just takes you a little bit longer. It's, it just, it can distort you. When you right click to zoom, you could put it back to normal proportions and that, that movement might throw off your aim. I found that to be 
a compromise is 95. I think the default is 85, so this is kind of right in the middle. I've also played it at 100 for a little while, and you could do that too. I think that was also a better compromise, so the upper. The field of view is important. Get a bigger view of the battlefield, uh, but just remember if you go too high, you will have a drawback where things will seem farther away. Um, that's that. The other thing that I think is important that most people don't know about is this depth of field. You should turn it off. What this basically does is it makes the objects that are farther away, it, it's a post-processing effect, so it blurs them out. And the reason you don't want that is it makes things not so crispy, right? It makes things a little bit blurry. And for me, I just like it to be clear all the way through. I, um, you could keep it on if you want, but I, I just prefer it so I can see my objects or my targets from farther away. The other ones that I took off, I think everyone knows or should know, motion blur. When you turn, it makes everything blurry. Um, if you don't have a powerful graphics card, maybe you want to might leave it on so it looks a little nicer, but I would, if for competitive purposes, please take it off. Uh, for wind and pulse, what this is, is like if you throw a little grenade, or I'm sure you've seen this, does this little pulse on the grain, it causes an extra little effect. It looks really cool. It's very subtle. You don't notice it. But in reality, in, in, when you're already getting hit by a grenade, the last thing you want is something else to impede your vision to, to hit back at your target. And then I took off the film grain, and I also took the chromatic aberration. Um, these are just simply more, more post-processing effects that really just make it a little bit harder to see sometimes. And uh, it, it, it looks good. I mean, the game still looks phenomenal as it is. As you can see, I'm still running at 200 frames. It doesn't affect performance. It's really just to stay competitive. So um, I guess that's it. If anyone asks about the look sensitivity, I know some people had questioned me about that. I have it at 11. I think the default was 15. 15 is way too fast. I think 11 for me is perfect, but it's all preference because it all depends on the DPI, your mouse, whatever your mouse is at. So um, I guess that's it. If you have any other questions, oh, and, and take off aim smoothing. That, that should be off as well. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask. Other than that, um, I hope this video was good information for you all, and I apologize if I had to rush and I could not edit this video. Thank you. Have a nice day.